This morning I received a message on Instagram and the person wrote should we still come to Germany if we are earning 30 lakh plus in India from a US company and I wrote it's not about money at all it's simply about the quality of life less stress and more time for yourself and of course with these kind of responses come the counter responses which is this can be achieved in India too no way for running from India or maybe like it's not necessary to run away from India something like that which is actually a pretty stupid argument because if you would like read about the previous message itself you know very clearly from your own experience of living in India how it is to live there and how different kind of things function so I responded to this and that was not exactly when you're swarmed with traffic every single time you leave the house or how you dread going to any of the government offices because you know how they work or you have to get something done from the police and you don't want to burn your brain. Tell me the last time you went to a government office, to a municipality whatsoever, maybe you had to get your birth certificate, maybe you had to actually go into your university's administrative office in the controller of examination or something branch, this examination branch and so on, and you had to get something done. Tell me what kind of experience you had so far. Most of the times, it's a pretty horrible experience because every single point, whenever they want to serve you or they want to help you with something there is a point where they want to like you know get something extra under the table most of the times that happens if that doesn't happen they're just like yeah we are off work right now we have so much workload we are going to get it done later or the day afterwards and so on it happens very frequently i know it from my experience of living in india when you have to get something from the police that's also like one of the worst experiences that you can have tell me about your story of the passport uh, verification the police verification for your passport how many times the police asked you to pay some money extra so that they can get the things done faster and this is a recurring theme this is not something which happens just to me or happened just to you it happens to almost every single person because the government institutions know exactly that the people can be exploited in these places and you can absolutely do nothing against that person even after all of the the whatever anti-corruption bills and whatever has been passed. Corruption hasn't ended. It will never end. That's how it is. Uh, in India, everything just gets a little bit worse. Also like public uh, hospitals. I don't know if you've been there, but I had been to a public hospital because you had to like submit some kind of like medical or something like that. Again, like it's just absolutely insane the kind of site that you come across. If you have money in India, many times you're not even aware of what kind of things happen to the normal people like most of the people who are watching my videos who are having the problem of like living in india and they want to move abroad most of the times we are still people who have money to go abroad even if we have to take some loan or something we have money to think about that there are people who cannot even think about that so for them also the life is a lot lot difficult then a girl wrote um, to that and it's she said it's not only that my biggest problem is judgment no one lets you be yourself in India what you wear your religion career choices marriage pressure peace of mind mental health are myths everyone is overworking how many times can you just go to a well-maintained garden by government and sit calmly have a good public transport where people are not hanging on the doors have limited work hours and work-life balance. Have friends from all ethnicities. No, you can't. It's not about money. It's about peace, period. Here, the most important thing that I would really say is, of course, the thing, again, with the work-life balance. Because in any European country, you definitely have your Saturday and the Sunday off. You don't have to do anything during those days when you're working full-time. And that's a great thing because you're able to take out time for the family, you're able to go grocery shopping in peace, you're able to do everything that you want to do and you have some kind of decent time for that. If you want to work on yourself, you also have fixed work hours, that means you go at the time which is given to you and then afterwards you can do whatever you want to. And this is at least the life that most of the people are able to live in Europe. This is not the reality in India. Even if the people who are like pro-nationalist and stuff can claim otherwise. The funny thing that I find is even people, even Indians who are living in Germany, you can go to all of these Indians in XYZ Facebook groups. 
and you will find so many people there who are still like india is the best country on the planet and the things are everything is bad in germany and so on and i'm like if everything is so bad in germany why did you come in the first place and if you have come here now and you see everything is bad then why don't you move back again because the people who come abroad many times they look at the entire reality back at home countries with a different lens with a rose tinted lens and they're like okay everything was better back then but it isn't you can ask most of the other students and professionals they would tell you how much better life gets when you are in europe it's just about not having to worry about unnecessary things not having to worry about going to a bank and that you have a crazy line and then you have to fight with 100 other employees in order to get something done it's about going to the government office and not having to fight with the person who is sitting at the desk that your file still hasn't been processed for the last one week it's about going to the police and when you have a problem actually make them help you right not that you have to again spend so much money on giving bribes so that your passport verification actually happens and i'm telling you this because it happened in my case it happened in my brother's case and every single time with passport verification and i know at least three other friends to whom it also happened from different cities in india so either you could be the person who can just say all right like you know money is the most important thing for me i'm making a lot of money with a lot of money you're able to live like a king like they say in india but you're not able to live like a king you're still using the same streets you're still using the same parks you're still using the same electricity connections internet connections and so on you're still using the same public services police and so on police um, hospitals things like that so money makes a very little difference when you are living in a country like that and that's the reason at times it absolutely makes sense for you to just move the place you don't want to come to germany you have a favorite country go there but you see how the life is there is it something where you will be able to build yourself further if yes take the leap otherwise again what's the point if you're too scared to take any kind of step whatsoever you will keep on asking these kind of questions to yourself and you will never take the step forward and with that you're just wasting life because you only have limited years in your entire lifespan and every single day you're just delaying this decision one step further that's exactly the same amount of time that you will have less living the dream life that you wanted to build for yourself i'm in europe right now we go from country to country every two to three months we travel around it's so much fun so many other people are able to do this right now because of the work from home conditions so i don't know i mean like it's just so different i would have never been able to do this i would never have this kind of freedom with first of all my indian passport and also with the boundaries that we have with india itself right here you can just go from one country to the next in a matter of a few hours and there are no borders you can just cross over without any kind of issues whatsoever be sure that when you go there you're going to be more or less safe there are bad corners there are good corners in every single country but in Europe you will have lesser bad corners more good corners and that is what makes the whole difference what does quality of life mean quality of life mean that even if you have insane amounts of money are there things which money can improve for you in that particular surrounding if they can't that means you have to get to a place where maybe other things which are more important to you are also available like i just said like you know more time for yourself and so on and that is not something that you can really get with money not at all that's why i mean like if you take a look at countries like denmark people actually pay a lot of taxes here and people make a lot of money people give a lot of money away in taxes and if you think about most of the people they are like middle class people but it's still the ha- one of the happiest countries i don't know if it's number one or number two in the world and again like don't give me this um, argument about like the happiness index is wrong and things like that i know people also subscribe to all of that stuff but you can definitely not compare that the people that are friends relatives and just the standard people living in india are happier with their life than most of the people are in europe so that's not really an argument for me if you want to change your life take your first step nobody is going to give you the signal that now is the time to start you just have to start as soon as you can because every single moment you waste is one less moment you will have in living your dream life.